Hey y'all, coming crochet is hand crochet jumbo granny square with me. So today I will be using Burnett Blanket Yarn Extra Thick. I like this yarn because there is the bigger sizes of course and you get, I feel like I get more bang for my buck. And also I just am in love with Joann's and I shop there all the time and spend way too much. Alright, so I'm going to start off with a chain of five. So I literally wrap my yarn as if I'm going to be using a crochet hook, only except my fingers are now on the hook. So that's my slip stitch. And then I chain five, so there's one, two, and throughout the video, you'll see me hold my hands different ways. It's whatever feels the best because I cannot lie, this starts to cramp up your hands really bad. So, um you'll see me start to move my hands different ways or hold the yarn different ways and it's really whatever works best for you so that's my chain of five i am now going to join this chain and connect it with a slip knot so taking my finger pulling it through the first chain drop pulling the yarn through and making a slip knot which is now going to make our circle to start so we work this in a basic granny square fashion i'm going to chain three which is going to count as my first double crochet loop the yarn over as you can see i pull the yarn over my finger using my finger as the hook pulling the yarn back entering my finger into the circle that we created pulling my yarn through pulling it through two loops and then pulling it through two more loops which is my second double crochet now so i do the same thing again for my third double crochet pulling it through the circle pulling it through two loops Pulling through those final two loops, which is now my first three double crochet cluster. Okay, so three, two, one, my three double crochets. Now I'm going to chain one. So we're going to create three more of these three double crochet clusters. So again, enter my finger into the circle, pull through, pull through two loops, pull through two more. And then we continue to do that all the way around. So as I continue around this first round of this granny square, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. So my name is Crystal. Um, I'm from originally from Houma, Louisiana, but now I currently live in the Lafayette, Louisiana area. I have been crocheting now 24 years. I learned at the age of 10. The name of my crochet business is Crochet Me This. I started the business. I think I opened my Etsy shop in 2014. And I started with making baby props. I made a lot of baby items and um, a lot of baby custom pieces is what I started selling originally. Okay, no, let me back up. I actually first started selling purses in seventh grade when I really first started selling crochet. But that's, you know, that's before this. Okay, now we're making our way to the end. So you chain one and then you connect it to the top of the first double crochet. So that third chain at the top we connect the slip knot to um connect it cut it off and then try to tuck the ends as much as you can it's kind of hard with this yarn and burn the back with the lighter which is why we also use a lighter as well all right so our first color is done so i connect the next color by tying the double knot actually around in any one of those chain one spaces chain three and then put two more double crochet here to start and this is going to be the second part of our first corner and you'll see so then i chain one and move into the next chain one space with three double crochet chain three and then three double crochet again in that same chain one corner so now we're beginning to form the corner spaces of our granny square and we will do this two more times so it's three double crochet chain three three double crochet in every chain one space Okay, so where was I? I'm a mother of three tiny humans and one fur baby. Oh, yeah, I'm also a Gemini, the good kind. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I am also a personal trainer and a group fitness instructor. So yeah, in short, your girl got a lot going on all the time. So we are coming around to, what is this now, the third corner? Yes, of the three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. I hope y'all are able to follow along. I had to speed the video up because I wanted it to be able to go on TikTok. I probably will have a slower version on YouTube. Please don't hold me to that, but that's the goal. The plan is to put a version on YouTube that's not as fast and that I can explain everything in a little bit more detail. All right, so as we make our way around to the last corner, remember we already did three double crochet here. So we only have to do an additional three double crochet, chain three, and then we connect it to the top of that first chain three. So the third chain, see, slip knot, pulling it through, cutting it off, and. All right, y'all, so on to corner number three. I've already connected it and started with my initial chain three. Um, going to do my second and third double crochet and then chain one and then three double crochet in that chain one space that we created in the last round in between the corners. So now we're beginning to add on sides to each granny square chain one after that. Next corner here, three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. So we are going to repeat this two more times and then we'll be back on the side where we started our first corner. So a little fact about me is I use crochet as a form of meditation. It completely frees my mind of any outside thoughts for the most part because I'm so invested in the work that I'm doing. I find myself um, lost sometime in the stitches literally i also don't consider myself to be very artsy so i feel like this is as close as it gets you know because i'm literally a yarn artist All right, so we're making our way to the final side, working that last corner, three double crochet here, chain one, three double crochet in the space. Y'all, these are so fun to make. I can't wait to see what y'all make with these. All right, so in that final corner, three double crochet, chain three, and Join with a slip stitch to the top of that first chain three. Tie it off, and that's round three. Okay, final round, y'all. Tying that knot, join it in the corner, in any of your chain three corners. All right, and we're gonna work this round just as we worked the last round. Gonna chain three, start off with that first three double crochet cluster in your corner, chain one, three, and three double crochet in every chain one space until you work your way to your next corner, which is gonna be three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. All right, we are finishing this up. Three double crochet to finish it up in the corner with your chain three. Connect, cut, and tie off, and your square is done.